Palm Harbor, you are in for a treat today. Today, we are sitting down with Ariana Agostini, who is the owner of No One Row Boutique, which is a women's boutique that recently opened up a uh, retail location right here in Palm Harbor. Before that, she just had the the online business for a few months, um, but has always had a passion and a dream of opening up this shop. And I'm super excited for you guys to learn more about Ariana. She is a wonderful person. If you haven't met her already, and I know you're really going to enjoy this conversation. So let's get into it. Welcome to another episode of Palm Harbor Local. I'm your host, Florida native and real estate ninja, Donnie Hathaway. You know, I started this podcast because I'm extremely passionate about connecting you with the people and the local businesses that make Palm Harbor so special. Palm Harbor, Florida is a great place to live, work, and play. It has everything you could dream of, from the food, the outdoors, the lifestyle, to the people in the community. I wanted to create a podcast that connected the community and inspired everyone to live better. To join this community and stay up to date on all things Palm Harbor, visit my website. It's palmharborlocal.com and sign up there to join the locals. And remember, together, we keep Palm Harbor local. I am. I'm super excited to sit down and have this conversation with you. I know we've chatted a lot before um, before recording this, but um, I'm just looking forward to it. So thank no, you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yep. So why don't we start with your uh, your boutique, uh, No and Row, mm-hmm. and um, tell us a little bit about that. Well, No and Row started as an online business back in 2020. Um, right when COVID hit, um, I was a stay-at-home mom. Slash, I did a couple work um, on the side. Um, so I worked part-time on the side remotely. And I just wanted to do something for myself. I wanted to do something that I really wanted to do like for years past. Mm-hmm. And that's when I said, you know what? Why not just open up a boutique? I always wanted to be a designer and I'm like, this was one oh, route cool. that I took like, okay, if I'm not able to design my clothes right now, I can might as well just open a boutique. So I did that online for a couple of months, I want to say, before I dove into the corporate life again. Okay. And that took over all of my time. Um, but knowing real um, is how it was, it was born, right? I, I just said it was on, online, but then... I wanted to have a space where women can shop and just find items that will make them feel themselves and they mm-hmm. will feel comfortable in. Um, so yeah, that's how a little how it started. Um, I just a few months ago I opened the um, brick and mortar. Um, mm-hmm. I was finally able to do that. I'm still working that corporate life, but I was mm-hmm. finally able to open the brick and mortar. Um, and yeah. So, so you started online, um, was the goal, was the ultimate goal to always have the brick and mortar or did yes. you, okay. Yes. So um, online was just like, okay, this is how I'm going to start out to get this business. It was a stepping running. stone. And at that yeah. time I didn't have obviously the means to actually open a yeah, store. Right. Obviously COVID was going around too. So it wasn't the smartest decision yeah, to true. like actually open a store. Yeah. But I've always wanted to have an actual store. Um, I remember when I was little back in my home in Puerto Rico, was telling like, I will always tell my mom, "Mommy, I'm gonna have a store one day. You'll see. I'll have a store and I'll do a lot of charity work." That was my main thing. Like I remember saying those words constantly to her. Yeah. So that was like. I, I don't know, like I now can remember, go back and remember, I'm like, oh my God, like I've always wanted to do this. Like I've always had the vision. Yeah. Obviously I never had, like at that point, I never had the means to actually do this until recently my husband said, you know what, if it's not now, you're not mm-hmm. going to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to take the risk. And I'm known for taking risks. So I just went, <laughs> okay, I'll just do it. Um, and yeah, that's that's how No and Real, the brick and mortar boutique started. So where, so take me back to your childhood and, and like, where does this um, dream come from? And is it, was it like you wanted a boutique store or you, was it just a store? I just like, wanted a store. So I, yeah. and let me rephrase that. I wanted to have a brand. 
a brand. I wanted. Okay. I always had the vision. I remember drawing. Crazy. Um, just designing crazy, doing crazy sketches of dresses, tops, and my back then I would tell my mom like, okay, I want, I want to be a designer. That mm -hmm. was like, that was my first dream. I wanted to be a designer and I, ha I wanted to have a brand for myself. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to go in that round. Um, but at that point, it was like, okay, I, if I'm not able to be an actual designer, mm -hmm. I can at least still have a brand for myself. Yep. And that's how it started. Okay. So, so you wanted a, a, a brand, um, which is which is kind of crazy as how old were you when you kind of had this thought? Do you remember? I remember it was five. Five. I literally remember crazy. going to, cause my mom used to work at the same school that I went to. Yeah. I will leave my classroom or may I say escape the classroom to go <laughs> to her office. She was um, the secretary of the school. I will okay. go to her office, yeah. grab paper, like just regular blank pa white paper, go back to the classroom and start drawing the signs there. So oh, I remember yeah. I was five years old, it, which is kind of crazy. I'm like now 36 years old and I'm now able to realize this yeah. and I'm just starting. Yeah. Hopefully I'm going to be able to at some point design something for myself and yeah, put yeah. it in the store. Who knows? Yeah. Um, so where does the, um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty cool. So like designing your own clothes and that sort of stuff. What did, what did you go to school for? So you went to, so you have like a marketing job and that's like your full-time job. That's my I mean, full time. I say full-time, like obviously the boutique is full-time as well, oh God, right? I know it's <laughs> like, I have two full-time jobs. Yeah. Um, so I, I remember going to my parents and telling them or asking them and, and my parents are very conservative. Mm -hmm. They're the typical conservative, like Latin conservative parents. And they mm -hmm. had, had it in their mind, you need to go to school. You yeah, either yeah. need to be a lawyer or doctor. Yeah. Or if any case, go to like, because we did have, I come from a military family. So they that was the other option. Yeah. Um, but they, I remember going to them and asking them I and telling them actually, because I was very stern in that i remember Same i was days, I, I yeah, yeah i was very <laughs> assertive i was like i'm gonna go to new york i'm gonna go to parsons school of design and i'm going to be a designer yeah and i remember them saying there's no way you're gonna do that that's not a real career you're going to look for something else and so yeah. i'm like crush i remember just being absolutely crushed and i'm like okay what's the next thing that i can study that's going to at least be an outlet for my creativity yeah, yeah in my hand i was like i'm not good with numbers so let's just scratch that <laughs> and i thought oh well let's just do marketing and advertising without thinking that in marketing you have to know your numbers yeah, you're right. <laughs> um so i did i did a double mayor so i did a mayor in a marketing and okay. then a second mayor in um advertising so i okay. have i think that's yeah it's two different mayors even though they kind of like interlock in a lot of things that I do yeah, now. Yeah. And then I went into doing my master's in human resources. So oh, okay. I just like to know about everything, I yeah, guess you yeah, can yeah. tell. Yeah, that's very cool. So was there, um, so I know you mentioned like there was like a moment in time where you were like, you know, it's now you talking mm -hmm. to your husband, right? It's now or, or, or you know, when is it going to happen? Um, like talk to me about like that moment and and kind of like what like what was going on then that made you like flip the switch and be like okay we have to do this for me it was always the fact that i will always mention i want to do this like i really want to do mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. and you know at first the option was just continue doing it online but then i'm seeing like my marketing side comes into play in my marketing yeah. head and i'm like okay well i can definitely do that online but there's i'm competing with thousands and thousands of other boutiques that started doing this also when COVID hit like yeah. I'm, if you think about it the boutique the online boutique business like went crazy when COVID hit mm. And now you go online, there's just thousands of them. So you're constantly competing with all those people, which is okay, you know, if you're up to it and if you have a good following. But in my head, I'm like, you know what? I feel like 
I need to find a place where I can set my roots and mm-hmm. and where a boutique is needed. Like in at least, and we know Palm Harbor has other boutiques, but that my sense of style, right, my right. uniqueness yeah. is needed somehow. So that's how like it, everything started for me. And I was like, okay, I need, I need to find, I need to find a place in Palm Harbor that I can set my roots in and actually open this. And, but there was always the back and forth. Should I do it now? Should I wait? Mm-hmm. I don't know how like the market is kind of crazy. What, what if it doesn't work? Yeah. So that's when he was like, you know what? You just have to do it. Like yeah. everything is a risk in life. It what's the worst thing it happen can happen? It's not gonna work. Right. You still have your online business. You yeah. still have a name for yourself because people are still gonna know you. Um, just keep running it online if worse comes to worse, right? Yeah. And my whole thing is if you don't try it, how can you say how yeah. can you actually say that it was going to work or not if you haven't tried it? Yeah, yeah. So... 100% agree. I love I, that. I literally am a risk taker. I Sometimes things work out and sometimes they don't work out, but I learn from every situation. And if it, this is one of those situations, let's say, knock on wood, it's going to work out, but let's say it doesn't work out. I lived it. I experienced it. I was able to live my dream yeah and i can tell that to my daughters and yeah, that's yeah. all it matters yeah so that's pretty cool so the um like the the risk taker side of you or like the chasing your dream mm-hmm. side of you like where does um so i'll take a step back so like i um growing up to like i had uh, this dream or this vision of like owning a business mm-hmm. and i never knew what it what it was um but i just remember that's like one of the things i remember from my childhood is like i want to own a business um and my parents same thing like you know conservative like go to school you know work your nine Mm -hmm. to five say retire and that's that's it yeah um so where does like what do you think shifted in like your mindset or it was like a moment or something that happened to you that shifted your mindset from like the way your parents um thought that this is you know, the best, you know, the best life for you sort of thing. What's up, Palm Harbor? It's your host, Donnie Hathaway. If you are looking to stay up to date with all things Palm Harbor, then visit my website. It's palmharborlocal.com. Super simple. You can sign up there, join the locals, where I'll be sharing more information on local events, local history, and what's happening in Palm Harbor. You know, I really want to create and add more value to you as a listener for spending your valuable time tuning into my podcast. So join me there, keep listening, and remember together, we keep Palm Harbor local. Um, I feel like it's a combination of things that happen yeah. um, in the past couple of years. But if we say the last thing that happened that I was like, okay, I need to do this is yeah. when my second daughter, Aviana, was born. And I was looking at them and I was like, you know what? I I know that they're going to be proud of me, whatever I do in life, because I'm always going to be like, they're always going to be looking out for me. Yeah. Like, I know that they're going to look up to me and they're going to be proud of me, whatever I do in life, even if I stay working in corporate. Um, But I wanted to do something more. Mm -hmm. I wanted them to be like, wow, mommy waited until she was 36 years old to realize her dream I can do whatever I want to do. Like, yeah. I don't have to, yes, I don't have to wait that long, but I can do whatever I set my mind to do. I don't have to probably go to school to realize my dream. I don't have to take all these steps to realize my dreams and be successful. Because mm-hmm. I think that's a stereotype that society has put on us. And mm-hmm. thank God, I feel like, this generation of 30 year olds are breaking it's like you don't have to follow those rules to actually be successful and 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 be good in life you can literally live your life live your dream and be successful at it so that was like the main thing but also my grandfather he passed away a few years back and he was my biggest role model and best friend like Mm -hmm. i I remember I grew up in a little farm in Puerto Rico, mm-hmm. literally raising chickens and pigs. Yeah. <laughs> Complete opposite yeah. of who I am right now. But I remember like one of the biggest things that he taught me was hard work. Mm-hmm. And 
literally you can do whatever you want to do as long as you work hard at it. Yeah. That was the main thing that he teach me and not to be afraid of anything, mm. anything like don't be afraid of no one. Don't be afraid of anything. You can do whatever you want to do. You don't have to be a man to accomplish mm -hmm. things. You can do. You're a badass, literally. Mm -hmm. like he will, like, in other probably worst words, he will say it, but <laughs> he literally will say, like, you, like, just do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Just be happy. Yeah. Who cares? I love that. It's like, you know, so many people could, you know, use, like, those two principles, right? Hard work and, um, and just being disciplined in what you do mm -hmm. and then just being like free to be who, who you are, mm -hmm. right? Not worrying about what other people think or anything like that, right? If you, if you worked hard and, um, just, just be you, like imagine like what, what you could accomplish, right? If just those two yeah. things. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like for me is being you, being your unique self, which is one of the things that I want every single woman that comes into my store to yeah. feel like, be you who cares if you're 50 something and society has been telling you not to wear what the 30 year old or the 20 year old yeah, is right. wearing who cares right. like live your life just be happy and that's thank god that like i said that mindset is shifting a little bit yeah um but there's a lot of work to do still oh yeah for sure for sure um so so let's talk about the business a little bit and like what are some what are some challenges of of starting a boutique, right? With the, with all this competition, um, finding a location, getting people to like go to your door, right? Like what yeah. are some challenges there? Oh my God. So right now I feel like, I feel like number one, the biggest challenge is actually starting. Because oh, yeah. I feel like there were so many things that will help me back. And it was me. Like I was, help, like I was holding myself back yeah. a lot. Yeah. I, I, I probably was afraid of failure. Like, even though I'm a risk taker, but it's still like, oh my God, I'm gonna get, can I, if I fail, what's right. gonna happen? Right. Especially with the family, too, right? Cause you're, you got, you know, you got bills to pay, you got kids. Exactly. Sort of Hence stuff. why I'm still like working my full time yeah. because in my head, I'm like, I still need to pay daycare. <laughs> so yeah. daycare needs to be paid. Um, but for me, it was starting. Like, that's the biggest, like, that was, has, was the biggest challenge. Also, doing things without too much help. Obviously, my husband, he's mm -hmm. been there supporting me and helping me as much as he can. Yeah, but he also has a full-time job and he mm -hmm. has his own business and stuff. But but for me, it was just, okay, how can I do this with limited time? Because mm -hmm. I'm still working my full-time yeah. by myself. So you can imagine I was living basically in the retail location that I finally found because that was the other struggle finding a good location with good traffic ideally i wanted to be in downtown palm harbor and i'm yeah. still i in downtown palm harbor <laughs> i am going to be i'm putting that out there yeah. i'm going to be in downtown palm harbor eventually but for me it was okay if downtown cannot happen right now what other location that with enough food traffic because that's the other thing and Again, my marketing mind is like, okay, you can be in a good location, but what else can you do? Mm. And for me, what has been working tremendously has been showing up, showing up, showing up on Facebook. Surprisingly, Facebook has yeah. been working great, but showing up on Facebook, showing up on Instagram, having people connect with me, like showing them that i'm just a human that i make mistakes i talk a lot yeah. too much i am loud and i, I sometimes i don't pronounce words correctly but i'm human <laughs> like that's for me yeah. that's the biggest thing that has worked in terms of like other challenges in terms of like to just promote and put myself out there i feel like it's i don't think it's the competition because I've always felt like there's a piece of a pie for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And like it's and, and you're right, a realtor. Like you know how this goes. Like there's yeah. there's a too many realtors out there, but there's yeah. I feel like there's always a piece of a pie for everyone. Yeah. That's a that's a huge mindset too that that not a lot of people have, right? Just like abundance, right? There's plenty for for any for all of us. And my market, like the people that I that I go after, right? My my target market is right. not the same target market of like the other boutiques that yeah. you know it's and it's fine. And even if they go after the same market that I do, it's fine. Like I specifically in the boutique, um, 
in that boutique, you know, kind of like, um, oh my God, what's the word that I'm trying to look for? That industry, the boutique industry. It's funny because we tend to all come together. It's a small community. So we try to like cling to one another and help each other as much as we can. Because we also, we see, you know, other other industries where there's just so much competition mm-hmm. and like, oh my God, no, I want this. I want, like, it's just, we don't want that. Yeah. So n- here I am, you know, a boutique in Palm Harbor. There's a few other boutiques that have opened in Palm Harbor, which is great. And I'm loving it because now it's like, okay, now we can build our own little community of yeah. boutiques. Yeah. and eventually grow Palm Harbor, which that's right. the mindset that I, when I started and I was talking with my husband, I was like, okay, I definitely want to be in Palm Harbor. This is my hometown. Like I've, I've been living here for a year and a half now. So I, I want to sit roots here. Mm-hmm. I think um, Palm Harbor is missing something that yeah. I know other cities nearby have like how can we grow this how what business you know obviously i wanted to have a boutique but would that help palm harbor grow more and right. just put it out there in the map more yeah i'm happy to see that there's a lot of new businesses growing in in palm harbor and yeah. i know that we're gonna get to that point so i feel like i ramble a lot but yeah. that's where like my my like i feel like you know at the end of the day what has worked is just being my authentic self. Yeah. That's- I think that's the, and I think that's how, you know, that helps like the consumer, like build trust with your brand or, or like mm-hmm. build that, build that brand. Right. And, and, um, you know, there's a lot of businesses out there that don't, especially on like social media and stuff that are, that are active on social media, but they don't show like who the owner is or who, like the mm-hmm. people behind that brand. And it's hard to connect with, with that business mm-hmm. because you don't um you don't know who they are mm-hmm. right and and so i think that's a big part a big piece that you do really well is just showing your face and showing up like you said and i have to be honest sometimes i'm very tired i yeah. like i i you know sometimes my little one woke up at two o'clock in the morning and she didn't go to sleep until six yeah. and i'm extremely tired but it's again it's about showing up and and even if you show up to let them know hey i'm tired this happened yeah it's fine like you have no idea how many moms message me and and are like oh my god this happened to me too like just hang in there and just creating that support like that's the other part of like no bro which i'm loving is i'm finding that there's a community a small community that needs that support and that like Mm. that connection with people and hopefully you know now with like my knowing row and i'm able to connect more with other moms in palm harbor they just need an outlet to talk to yeah they don't need to come to my store and shop you can just come and say hi and we'll talk and i have a few girlfriends and now like they they started as customers and now they're girlfriends that just you know they just come to the store and they just want to talk and decompress and that's fine yeah that's pretty cool so you're building this little community i uh, love that palm harbor i i love that and and hopefully it keeps growing and and you know it's gonna get to a point where we're able to do events and Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. do all that fun stuff so yeah so is that something that you set out to like this is something i want to accomplish is like create this sense of community or or is that just kind of like uh i think it it happened organically so it was always in the back of my head that i wanted to be part of the I wanted the Palm Harbor community to grow in the sense of like, hey, you know, we can do, Palm Harbor can be so much, can do so much. We can, I mean, we have so many businesses and yeah. so many really good groups that can, that we can grow um, into more. But this whole side of like that, building that community with local moms mm-hmm. and local, you don't have to be a mom, just local women. They just want a space to talk yeah. and just be their authentic self. That's the key. Yeah, yeah. I want them, and going back to just being authentic, I want women to feel that they're being, that their authentic self is being valued. Yeah, it's okay to be who you are it's right? okay yeah. and like going back to how you know these stigmas this society has put on for example the 30 year old woman you know 
how you're supposed to dress, how you're supposed to act, specifically if you're a mom, like you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't who cares like yeah. i'm like i i was telling my husband like i'm too tired <laughs> to yeah. think about like all this like oh you shouldn't be wearing that dress i don't i don't care yeah. i'm just i'm comfortable i feel good <laughs> hey i'm just going to express myself yeah but i want more women in the community to be able to feel that comfortable yeah. And the one thing that, you know, when they come into the store and they're like, oh, my God, I don't feel very comfortable. Like I'm tugging and pulling. I'm like, OK, that's fine. If you don't feel comfortable, don't buy it. It's OK. Mm -hmm. Like you don't. And that's I don't want. Obviously, yes, there's the business side of me. Like I want to make sales, of course, because yeah. that's I want to sustain my yeah, family that, at, right. at, at the end of the day. But at the same time, it's like I'm not fake in that sense. Like, in sense, like I want women to feel comfortable and if when they come to the store they don't find something that they feel comfortable in that's fine and i'm yeah. going to refer you to the next boutique in the corner because you know it's we are a community if i don't get the business hopefully the other person gets the business right yeah yeah like your your clothes your style isn't going to be for everyone right it's for and that's fine yeah that's part of it yeah yeah i love that um well, this has been this has been a lot of fun, and um, I love your your story and, and kind of what you're about and all that kind of stuff, and and your your sense of community for Palm Harbor and like helping Palm mm -hmm. Harbor grow. I think that's really cool. And um, like you like you said, Palm Harbor is doing doing a lot of good things yeah. and um, got a lot of stuff coming up. So I'm excited for that. What is one thing I like to ask everybody is what is like one of your favorite things to do when you're not working, you know, both jobs, mm. um, it could be like a favorite restaurant to visit in Palm Harbor or, or, or the area, um, favorite park, something like that. Like, what do you enjoy doing? I, I love going to downtown Palm Harbor. I yeah. love fireside. Yeah. Oh God. I, <laughs> I went the other day. I, the first time I went, it was extremely busy. So yeah. it was kind of yeah. hectic with the girls, but this time around, it was not as busy, and oh my god, I loved it. Actually, we're going this Friday again. Nice. Besides that, one thing that I enjoy doing, and I know this is my husband's gonna be, oh my god, I can't believe you said that, <laughs> is literally waking up at five in the morning, having a cup of coffee by myself, watching Netflix. Yeah, like just that for me, and just trying to decompress and start my day with a clear mind. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's, that's that's just I love it. That makes a huge difference. I know for me, um just waking up and doing some some sort of like exercise or something mm -hmm. in the morning is kind of like my thing where it's like if I if I can do that, um, it just sets me up for the rest of the day and it's like you you feel just ten times better uh, having done that. I need to start doing that more. I need yeah. to be better at that. <laughs> yeah. So what is what's your favorite pizza from Fireside? I tried, oh my God. Um, I think it's the carne. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that yeah. one. Um one of the girls, she came into the shop the other day. Um, I can't remember her name, but she said next time, next Friday, ask for the chicken wings. Oh yeah, you haven't had the wings yet? No. Oh. She's she's like, you need to. Oh. How can you not? Like, if you come to the restaurant, you need to have the wings. So now I'm in a mission to go Friday and yeah. try those wings. There you go. <laughs> yep. Try the wings if you have not tried the wings, if you're going to Fireside. Oh, I'm definitely going to, yeah. for sure. <laughs> um. Well, awesome, Ariana. I appreciate you doing this. Um, thank you, thank thank you so much. It yep. was fun. Thank you again for listening to another episode of Palm Harbor Local. I really hope you got a ton of value out of today's episode. Now, if you're looking to connect with the guest or just get more information on the episode, then you can check the description below. I'll have all the links in the episode as well as a link back to my website. It's palmharborlocal.com where you can stay up to date on what's going on with the podcast and sign up there to join the locals. Let's get after it this week. And remember, together, we keep Palm Harbor Local.